Uh, the top of it, the magic mountain, translation or not, uh, the, this, this is one of the very curious uh, things about the, the, the magic mountain of Thomas Mann. When it was first published and, 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 and it began reaching a very large audience in Europe, a suite that I was told by Thomas Mann himself in, in his famous speech at the Princeton University, it was a kind of introduction yeah. to the Magic Mountain for the students at the American University of Princeton. And he uh, told the student that uh, a suite, a very highly respectable, uh, respected suite, I'm, I'm supposed he probably was a member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Letters so or yeah. Arts and that said that the magic mountain of Thomas Mann should be read only in German. Only in German. It's a little difficult. Thomas Mann, of course, said, no, 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 I disagree with you. <laughs> and he said, well, he was 1939, the first English edition already appeared. The first English edition was 1927, 1928. Uh, 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 it was a lady, if I'm not mistaken, and I think Thomas Mann also collaborated with her. began to take flight also in the United States of America and England. Yeah. But the curious thing is that the Thomas Mann said, no, of course he has to translate, but we do need translation. There is no doubt. So I think it is impossible to demand for everyone that they should be able to read a novel of such a caliber or such a level in yes. three or four different languages. It's a difficult one. It's a yeah. very tiny minority. I happen to believe to belong to that minority, but I'm not sure whether it's worthwhile because it's too much hard work. Yes, when but the you hard, have work, to, you hard work... Because you have to keep checking the dictionary. We love the hard work. You have to keep checking the dictionary and all this yeah, kind sure, of thing. Yeah, sure, you But anything, I think, I agree with the three that... And I would think, I would say that, that uh, I would say to any American or English or any person uh, with English as a mother tongue, I said, why should I read, uh, why should I study German? I would say, okay, you should study German so that you can treat the magic mountain of Thomas Mann in Germany. Yeah. I would say that. Yes. I would say the same, the same of Marcel Proust à la Recherche du Temps perdu. I believe that that novel should also be read only in French. Okay. But it is impossible. However, the question is, uh, that's the fascination about because the sound of it, the, the magic man, that is actually an European continental novel. There are some mentions of some English and some American. Because of all, like all these but all the different characters are continental. These different, different nations. There are only uh, Germans, uh, Italians, uh, Russians, yeah, that's right, yeah. Dutch. From time to time there is a French uh, woman or a Swiss European, but Americans, English, uh, they are not there. Don't appear. Uh, so uh, it is a, a very much a typical uh, continental European, continental German novel. Yeah. Uh, uh, which I think that many English readers, particularly in Great Britain, perhaps also in the United States, they also find this, they, 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 they keep finding that novel very fascinating. Despite that it is a sort of, this is continental Europe, okay? Yes. England and the United States would I mention, but they don't seem to play any relevant role in the novel. Yeah. Right? But well, okay, that, that's not the same The same with Marcel Proust and La That's a French novel, it's about French society, it's about a, exactly. a, a very specific class of French society. Sometimes they talk about classical music. Yes, so some you, music. You, you told me that Thomas Mann listened to classical music, a lot of Wagner. For instance, Thomas Mann was a Wagnerian. That was for him. Was a Wagnerian. Uh, Master Puss was also a Wagnerian. Oh, 
not so. And that's why the two novels, if you look at it to some extent, they so have some similar the, things. They have the same. They have this the the, 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 the Vatnes light motif. Ah, yeah, with the, with the people so on stage. That is, some, that for every key yes. character there is a specific music attached. Ah, yeah, okay. So that even if they are not on stage, when you hear the music, you know that that person is coming. What person comes? Okay. I think the same can be said of the Magic Mountain of Thomas Mann, perhaps, I think also of La Richard Dampelieu, of Marcel Proust, that they, they, they use this Wagnerian technique. But going back to the English edition, I, I think they are still struggling to find the right translation of the Thomas you Mann think so? in English. They are still doing it. Really? There are new versions coming into the market. Uh, you know? this is because I think it's an extremely difficult novel to translate. There is How are you going to translate Eviska is super on plötzlich Klarheit? Eternity is soup and sudden clarity. Uh, but maybe they take it as, uh, does, as a German what word. What does eternity soup say to you, say to you in English? Tell me one more uh, before we finish. Yeah. The last movie was Geisendörfer, yeah, a German movie that is not so well done, but never ever someone tried again to make a movie out of Zauberberg. Why not? There is so great many dialogues, so because, many characters. Because no one wants to ruin his or her career. His career. By attempting, <laughs> by attempting a new film. That's, that's the magic. Of, a chance. That's, that's precisely the magic of the magic mountains of Thomas Mann. Alrighty. That you do need a lot of courage to try to put them into film. Because it, what is traditionally called action, Yes. It's not really there. But the audiobooks are good. It's well, a German audiobook very yes, good. The English also, because that is, this is a novel about dialogues and monologues. Yes. About uh, people trying to, uh, people constructing what in German, in German is called uh, Die Weltanschau. Yes, they, they're trying yeah, to yeah. Uh, construct the world and to interpret the world, but being in the world. Also, Die Welt anzuschauen in der Welt sein. Genau, it's genau. not looking at the world from the moon or something like that. Or from some, no, no. You look at the world while you are staying there. Okay. And that is why, that's I think what it does in Magic Mountain. I repeat, that's magic of this Magic Mountain. That, and that's why I think that uh, no one has yet attempted the 1982. So we're talking about uh, 39 years ago. Yes. And how many films have been made of Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice over the last 40 years? This is another chapter. Okay. It'll be another opened. chapter. But let's... Okay, let, let's thank mention, you. I did mention Jane Austen because I love her. So anyway, okay. so let's, let's, I, let's, let's close it. Let's uh, close em, it. Platonically, okay. uh, emotionally. No, this sorry. is Yoshi <laughs> and this is Juan Carlos Hergen Kauer. Okay. Thank ladies you very and gentlemen, much. Ladies and gentlemen, very, thank you very much for your attention. And I hope you're going to learn something. Right? <laughs> Go. Go Thank mm -hmm. you.